the ice beer project looks at Molson ice 5.6% alcohol introduced in some point in history and I say that because I cannot really find out uh, looking on the Molson Coors website, the Miller Coors website, they both have profiles of Molson Ice, cannot find the year, but uh, uh, I'm guessing 1989 from what I've remember in the, from what I remember in the past. This is brewed in Golden, Colorado. It says under the supervision of Molson Coors Canada. So this is, this is a Canadian recipe, but it's brewed in America. So this is an American produced beer, Canadian recipe. One good thing about Molson or Coors or Miller is they'll give you the best buy date, it says very clearly here, October 6, 2014. Now I did a review of this from the bottle, then the can, but this is the Ice Beer Project. Um, <clears throat> beer advocates saying it's terrible. Rape beer, 3 out of 100. Um, same old story, they don't like the style. What style? A mass produced lager beer, whether it's ice, malt liquor, or regular, or light beer. They hate it. I'm talking about the people that review beers on their site. Now, of course, that's their prerogative. They're not under any obligation to like the style or say favorable things about the beer. Um, I bought this on my road trip up there to uh, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, and Kentucky. Okay, so this is not sold around here. 5.6 percent alcohol that would be the same as magnum malt liquor and mickey's fine malt liquor which are malt liquors made in a different process this is done with the ice process uh very bubbly golden appearance thick white head so nothing unusual there uh, i guess they're probably just taking molson canadian which came out in 1959 and they're putting it under the ice brew process and they're getting a higher ABV. I mean, that's a guess. I don't really know. It's a pungent, sweet grain. Smells like a regular old beer. Not that different from Magnum or Mickey's, but I think those are going to have a sweeter, more cloying flavor because they use a different process. Um, Yeah, this is more in line with your Bud Ice, your Ice House. Although it might be a shade mellower than either of those. Yeah, you get some pronounced grain, which is barley malt and corn. There's a slight hop bitterness at the end for balancing. You're never going to get a strong hoppiness from any of these mass-produced lager beers. Although if you try hard enough and think about it and, you be, and you're willing to be a little open-minded, you will pick up on some of the hot bitterness, um, in fact. The mouthfeel is light and watery, and the finish is crisp, dry, refreshing. Same old thing. Uh, this can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any other ice beer. It's an enjoyable beer. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's uh, mellow, but not dull. The big Molson beer I saw on my northern trip, however, was not the Molson Ice, but I saw a whole lot of Molson Triple X. That was everywhere. The bottles, 12 ounce bottles, 24 ounce cans, uh, uh, the big 32 ounce can, or I believe it, maybe it was 24 ounce can, the, the um, one liter. I saw that everywhere I went. We barely get Molson Canadian around here, it's just not that popular. And we certainly don't get any other Molson variant. Now, if I go to Texas, I can get Molson Golden, the Canadian, maybe the Light, and probably some others. Now, this beer will go well, well with crackers and bologna with some hot sauce. It's made for this type of thing. Uh, your mass-produced ice lagers are not really made for contemplative reasons. They're made for drinking while wilt, wilt or whilst <laughs> drinking while give it up, just give it up. May they're made for drinking while watching sporting events, hanging out with friends, or whatever you know. 
and for that purpose it it fulfills that purpose exquisitely now is a deep speculative beer no okay you know it won't but it's not designed for such a purpose but I think it's darn good I have no complaints zero complaints plus the price is reasonable talking about artifacts I do have a, some many old books here's a book by Cicely Huddleston is called France the Tragic Years an eyewitness account of war occupation and liberation this guy was a correspondent and he stayed in France all before during and after World War II and so this is all about uh, what happened with the surrender of France the uh, the uh, Pétain government the German occupation and the post-war uh, chaos uh, really interesting um, brings in a lot of uh, viewpoints that you probably never have seen before and uh, that you probably won't see on um, major media uh, it's generally favor favorable towards Marshal Pétain who's a very old man uh, and was caught in a horrendous situation and is you know about what he all he had to deal with and uh, mistakes he made and whatnot. So it's a fascinating book and I would recommend it. So thank you for watching this Ice Beer Project video production.